first time tuning in, my name is Brent and this is Turbocharged Hobbies. Today we're going to do a video talking about my 2007 Honda 400DX and we're going to be replacing the rear plastics with some brand new OEM Honda plastics. I'm actually really excited to get these installed because this will probably make the four look a lot better. On video it don't look that bad from a distance. But definitely in person, these plastics are in rough shape, or at least the rear is. If you follow me on my Instagram, I've done a story before where I actually used the PC Racing Plastic Renew. And I used it on the front fenders and was able to get them looking a whole lot better. Um, there's like a melted spot, like right here. Looks like probably the fender ended up hitting the exhaust or something. But the front are in pretty decent shape. The rear, on the left side, it has a huge crack to where the whole fender is about to break off. And it has some really deep gouges in the plastic. So I did restore a little bit using the PC Racing. And it does look a lot better. Instead of, you know, taking all the time to fix these up and try to fix the crack, I figured I'd just rather get some brand new OEM ones. So... A little bit about the four-wheeler. I've had this four-wheeler since 2020, about summer 2020, I do believe. And uh, with a Facebook marketplace find, I've been looking and I, I live in Kentucky and in Kentucky four-wheelers, they kind of sell for a lot and they're kind of hard to come by, especially 400 DXs, especially the ones that have reverse. That was a big thing to me, I like having reverse. Paid just under $3,000 for it, and she was in pretty rough condition. I'll probably try to insert what pictures I have from when I first got it, but it's hard to really see how rough it is without seeing it in person. I want to start by going over what all was done to the four-wheeler when I bought it. Now, I do want to apologize for the heater running in the background, and I know the sound quality is probably not going to be the best in here. It's it's got a pretty decent echo, but I'm doing the best with what I got. I'm a small YouTube channel. I'm not sponsored. I've never made a dime off of this, so I just like getting to share my hobbies with other people, and hopefully I can help some other people along the way. So let's get into what was done to it when I bought it. Obviously, it had these tires, which are getting pretty close to needing to be replaced. Had these Nerf bars already. Had the FMF PowerCore 4 uh, slip on. Has an aluminum skid plate. And then lastly, it has this uh, aluminum uh, billet gas cap. I'm really not a fan of that. So I think I'm going to do a giveaway on my Instagram. And that is uh, turbocharged hobbies, all one word. I'll probably end up doing a giveaway on that. And I have a few other things I may do a little bundle or, or give a few things away. Just something that can maybe help some of the people that's followed me and supported me for a while. I don't know. It's something I have to figure out. You think I should do some giveaways? Comment down below. Obviously, I can't do nothing super crazy because, you know, it's all coming out of my pocket. Now we're going to start getting into some of the mods that I did. We're going to start with the third brake light that was missing and the plug had been ripped off. So I had to get the plug and a new light for it. Ended up soldering that on. I also had to get a new bumper for it. It didn't have a bumper when I bought it. It actually had two broken bolts that I had to drill out. I actually only got one of the two out, but three is better than just two I couldn't stand it not having a bumper the next thing was the previous owner had mentioned to me that this had been replaced the rear carrier but I started noticing it had some slop in it so I was just figuring well maybe it was a place to uh, replace a couple years ago and it's already bad or something so I'm just like yeah it's so cheap I'm just going to order another one Got the new one, slapped it in, and then when I went to go, I realized when I took the other one out that the axle nut was kind of loose. I didn't really think too much about it. Well, then whenever I put the new one in, whenever I got it 
tightened down, didn't want her to spin, and what it was was the sprocket hub was making contact with the carrier. So I had to pull it all apart and I'm trying to figure out why. What I ended up finding, and I know the light over here is not very great, but as you can see, here's your sprocket hub and this is your brake rotor hub all right if you notice there's not very much left of that race in comparison to the other side it was missing a good quarter inch so i ended up having to order a new axle you can see here on the this was the carrier that was in it whenever i bought it so this one is probably not not in that bad of shape it just you couldn't tighten it all the way down which was causing the slop so when i went with this new axle i did get one of the extended ones as you can see there so far it's held up pretty well i also replaced all three rotors on it uh, brand new brake pads all the way around put the parking brake block off on it because it actually still had the original parking brake Next, I ended up getting new handlebars and went with some Pro Taper bars. And I uh, got one of these rocks dashes here. Got that from Amazon. It moves your key up here so you can run a bar with a dash pad or whatever. Also, put the mad power mad guards on. New hood. Then I put an oil temperature gauge. Got that from XRs only. New chain and sprockets as well. And then also put the ASV clutch lever and perch on here. I actually bought the full set, but I got them used. It actually was missing this part. So I just used the OEM one, but you can actually order the ASB, uh, the caps for that. So I'm thinking about getting another cap. And then I think I'm going to do a giveaway on these as well. Because I want the one, I need the one that has the switch on it for the brake light. And I really want to have the brake light. So besides that, I think that covers the majority of the stuff I've done. Now, if you haven't seen my last video I was working on these and I still haven't finished I also put a clutch in it now, I do believe that is everything I've done to it so far I do need to go through the engine that's something that I plan on doing here soon it's kind of talking a little bit with um, Michael Sabo I love his YouTube channel. He has a lot of great content for uh, ATVs and uh, rebuilding engines. So, I may reach out to him for a little bit more help. I'm not really sure. It'll be the first time I've uh, rebuilt an engine completely on my own. So, now let's get into the main reason for the video the brand new OEM rear plastics. So here they are, and I mean, they are just beautiful. Now it does have the original warning label, so I may end up doing a video on that if people want to see exactly how I end up removing the rivets. I uh, plan on trying to snip them with some uh, clippers, like some wire cutters. Definitely don't want to drill it out because you can end up making the holes too big. And as you can see here, this is something that was pretty popular on uh, Instagram. So whenever I'd done this section with the PC uh, PC Racing Plastic Renewal, used that to restore this part, and you can see the difference that it makes. I mean, it's a pretty big difference.
sure looks a lot better with the new plastics on. So as you can see from the time lapse, it was a little bit of a struggle to get the metal rod on that goes from here to over, kind of helps hold the fenders up or whatever. I don't know if that rod was bent, but it was hard trying to get that lined up along with the latch in the back. I did get it back on. I have to say the latch wasn't too bad. It took me a little bit to just to get all four of the bolt holes lined up. But that right there, as you can see, I know you, no, you don't got the best view. Let me do this. All right. So yeah, that metal rod right there, you can kind of see that it's not sitting all the way up against the bar. It's almost like it's too far back. It's like the bar's bent backwards and it needs to go back forwards a little bit. I don't know. But, got it all on. Come on. Oh, hard to do one handed. Now, the question is do I replace the front fenders? I just really don't want to spend that money on them because they really don't look that bad. Still got to finish installing these plates. If I get some people asking, wanting me to shoot a video on drilling out these rivets on this one to install them, I will. But I have a feeling probably no one would be that interested in that video. So, well, I appreciate everyone watching. And if you like my video, you can give me a like. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, Turbocharged Hobbies on all of them. Thank you, and boy, she sure does look a lot better, don't she? Hope everyone has a good day. I'll see you all next time.